Hi, I'm Eric D'Amato. I'm Matt. And welcome back to Mind Breakers. Ain't no way I'm back for Mind Breakers. Yeah, you're back for Mind Breakers. Ain't no way. Ain't yes way. Damn. Anyway, we're watching a sequel today. Oh, yippee. Of one of the only found footage series I can actually tolerate. <laughs> Though it's not looking like this is going to be a good one. We're watching VHS with little slashes in between the yeah. V and H and H and S. Because it loves making it complicated to name these episodes. <laughs> <laughs> VHS viral. Oh, viral. Okay, From, this is... One of the ones I haven't seen yet. So. From 2014. Mm. There's a little clip of the trailer playing in the little thing right now, and it looks nonsensical. <laughs> uh, it has a 4.2 out of 10. Damn. Um, a Los Angeles police ch- police chase sends a fame-obsessed man on a wild ride to save his girlfriend from a cybernetic terror. Okay. Now, we've had some experience with uh, these movies before. We watched the first two. Uh, yeah. The first one, um, kind of mid. Yeah. I found it kind of mid. Um, I think there's, like, one of them that I... like. I liked the I Like You segment with the yeah. vampire chick. That was kind of cool. The second one, though. I love the second one. The, the zombie one. The zombie yeah. bit is... Yeah, I think, I think the HS2, like, really... Took what VHS brought to the table. And I think there's better. there's also there's a lot of potential I find, especially with that zombie one, mm. for zo- for found footage zombie movies. Yeah, because Survival of the Dead. No, yeah, no, no, no. no. Survival of the Dead is terrible. Yeah. Diary of the yeah, Dead. Yeah, say Diary of the Dead. That's a really good like fucking um that 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 bit in VHS too with that. Yeah. The zombie apocalypse from the perspective of a, the handy cam on a zombie. Yeah. That's just really interesting no, I, to me. I, I, it's why I like the, the VHS films, like the ones that I've seen. Because mm-hmm. it really just let people, like directors, have fun with whatever they wanted to do. And yeah, like, of course some dude's going to be like, when we put a fucking cam on a zombie and that's the fucking movie. Like, I know there's... Like, Wreck, I think, is a zombie film. A found footage zombie film. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it, though. I, I can't even find it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't find the first one. Mm. I can find all the other ones, but I'm not just going to start with, like, <laughs> sure, the third yeah. one. Because I'm, I'm, I'm interested in seeing Wreck. Mm. But, yeah, this, uh, this does not bode well, this movie. Yeah, I mean, you know, but it's, maybe we'll have fun with it. Hopefully. There's two more after it. Yeah, I've seen the one after Viral. You saw 99? Oh, uh, yeah. I saw 99, but I haven't seen this one, and I haven't seen... The one that just came the out. The one that just came out, yeah. But, yeah, let's watch VHS Viral. Yeah, I'm down. I can't wait. Viral videos. Viral, no. <laughs> Where did you find that tape? A secret compartment. He recorded everything. Welcome to the show. Oh my god, turn it off. Not funny. Now keep going, keep going. We can edit that out. your ass if you don't get inside right now. Well, well, as an anthology film, it's really low down on the list of the ones you've seen. Yeah. And technically as a found footage film also, because it's only competition is the other two VHS movies. Yeah. So, yeah, this was, um... Mid. It's not like it was bad, but it's just uneventful. Uneventful, some of the stories were really, like, like Bone Storm, for instance. Like, it got interesting, yeah. but most of it was just, like, thoroughly unlikable people. Yeah. 
<laughs> and it was, it was like it reminded me of like 2006 like video the skate stuff. the skate vi- like showing the actual skateboarding was one thing but yeah. just the camera showing their faces like yeah. like that weird shot of uh of Captain Pedophile in the Flash movie Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like that yeah, kind of okay, thing. I know which one, I know which one <laughs> where, 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 uh, they're in the vortex. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I get it. Like, as a camera thing, I get it. You usually use it for, like, uh, reaction shot. When you're showing the actual fucking thing happen. Yeah, but they're not showing any reaction. They're not showing the it's actual just skateboard stuff. D- it's just like, bad. show the skateboard. That's more interesting. But we'll get to both. We start uh, with a bunch of inter. Interconnected, but not really random fucking clips of a of a guy dating a woman called Iris. Yeah, and then there's some Beethoven music, and yeah. he's filming everything, and then there's a chase going on because some cop cars are chasing an ice cream truck. Yeah, and it goes by outside. It's called Vicious Cycle. The all the segments are of the wraparound are called Vicious Cycle. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that makes sense. Um, he's filming it, and then they go out to film it. And then there are people watching videos on their phones. A guy's nose starts bleeding, and cop gets hit by the ice cream truck and loses yep. his arm. Presumably dies. Presumably dies. He he's like, "Oh, get the fuck back inside! Stop filming!" Which you can't really tell people to not film if they're on their own property. Yes. <laughs> uh, he's also filming, by the way, because he's wearing a headset that's filming. Yep. So, the fuck you. But yeah, he get, gets hit, and then the phone starts acting up with his girlfriend's picture on it. And this weird, like, how do I put, how do I describe, occasionally flashing to this weird CGI, mid, like, mid-2000s weird jump scare video face. Yeah. <laughs> I just found it quaint. Yeah. Because. <laughs> hey, it was fine. It's there. But that brings us to our first, uh. Story, I guess. Hmm. Uh, Dante the Great. Dante the Great. But a guy, he, uh, it, it's kind of, it's framed like a crew crime documentary. Yeah, really, and it's really well done, too. Uh, to a point. To a point, yeah. And they're like, oh, he, he used, like, this big fucking show, and we see him, uh, like, like Don, the show sold out, and then the, his assistant is being interviewed by the police. Apparently, he did, he's being escorted out by cops. Yeah. Um, like, he, he, he lived in a trailer park. He was, uh, he, he always did, like, he was always good at, like, card tricks and shit. He entertained people, but they didn't care. Really. Yeah. Then he found a cloak, which apparently had been used by Harry <laughs> Houdini. But Harry Houdini got afraid. And, okay, I know Harry Houdini is, like, the biggest, well, most well-known, like, illusionist. Yeah. Like, historically. But maybe don't include the, have the famous skeptic. <laughs> who's yeah. like he loved debunking shit yeah it's kind of it's kind of his thing maybe don't have him have the magic cloak yeah <laughs> I mean I think it was just used for namesake hmm. could have made up a wizard I don't know but apparently the cloak like actually has magical powers like it's like it starts simple, like he's like can bring a rabbit out because you see him like the hand at the other end of the room pick up the rabbit and, and like put it on the table, yeah. reverse that. So he starts doing shows and he he learns other tricks like he can he peels open the rabbit with his mind, which is okay gross. Don't yeah, it wasn't that. needed. I hope you could fix the rabbit. Yeah, I would assume he could so. Throw fireballs. He has like telekinesis and shit. Excellent. He sets his warehouse on fire. Yeah. Very, it, this bit really does remind me of, like, the te- Actually, it doesn't feel very horror, this bit. Yeah. It feels like in the first Iron Man movie, when he's, like, working yeah, on the yeah, suit. Yeah, yeah. That's what it feels like. Yeah. So he, he, he does the show. Uh, people love the show. He yeah, Massively popular. Massively popular. Unfortunately, the cloak stops working. Yeah. And finds out that he needs to feed the cloak. People. Because he asks, like, what do you need? And starts talking to him in some mm. fucking weird demonic language. Yep. So he puts the he has to put the cloak over someone and then say the magic words. 
Cthulhu words. Tingle, ting, tingle, wingle, kulu, limpa, and then it eats the person. Those are ting, Tingle's magic words he made up himself. Don't <laughs> steal them. <laughs> and then the evil arms come out of the cloak and eat the person. He also films all of it. Because mm. I think the demon likes it. I'd, um, I'd be very uncomfortable to be wearing a cloak that eats people through the cloak. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I... I wonder if that ever crossed his mind. Because <laughs> hmm. what's stopping the cloak from just eating me? Just, uh, just In- uh, entertainment, maybe. So he, he he has various assistants who he keeps feeding to the cloak, and he's training one of the magician's assistants to actually be a proper magician later on. Yeah, which by the way, always killing your assistants, uh, probably not the best uh, no I, course of action. You'd think like. I don't know if it's ever said that it needs to be someone you know. You could yeah. just kill random people. That's it. <laughs> now, I'm not saying you should feed anyone to your demonic Yeah. Cloak, but... but yeah, actually starts training someone to be a magician because he just likes her as a yeah. person. Kills her, kills her abusive ex-boyfriend. In a very cool way. Breaks his arms and legs with his mind. Cracks his neck. Feeds him to the fucking... Feeds him to the cloak. Cloak demon. Then, um... The cop, he, he's giving an interview, and then the fucking SWAT team come to get him. Yeah. They are unprepared. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because he's a wizard. Oh, yeah, they're unprepared because she found the tape mm. that uh, he recorded killing people with. Because she obviously gave it to the cops. And then they watch the tapes, but and weirdly, believe he's actually killing people, but yeah. don't believe he has magic powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay... With that one victim, how do you explain that? Is the victim just really committed to kayfabe? Like, yeah, like, the, like the, ex, the ex-boyfriend where he uh, snapped his wrist and broke legs so bad the bones popped out with a flick of his wrist. That kayfabe, he really bought into the act. I don't know. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, they, they arrest him after a big scuffle that happens. It's but, a good time. oh no, he's a wizard. So he teleports out, starts throwing fireballs, yeah, gets, force choking people. He gets fucking put into the cop car. He's gone. The driver is handcuffed, and he's the guy who put the car in. And there's a really good part where the, the, the chief inspector is in, in interviewing the woman. And she's like, I really can't explain. He's just magical. Like, he has magic. There's no such thing as magic. And then she just gets teleported out of the room, and he's like... She gets sucked into the chair. Yeah, he's like, oh. <laughs> Very big trouble, little China. Yeah. So, and you expect me to believe in it? Yes. Why? Because it's real. <laughs> Shoot casts fucking lightning. <laughs> Chinese black magic. So then he's having this big action fight with all the SWAT team. I'd much rather be playing this as a video game. I, again, <laughs> SWAT team... Heavily unprepared for wizard. He's throwing fireballs, breaking bones, force choking people. He's a fucking Sith Lord up in here. Got like that really cool shot where they shoot him and he goes to check the body and it's his partner and he turns around and gets fucking shot because he swapped places. Puts the cape back on and says, ta-da. Yeah, the ta-da was fucking that, immaculate. That, that fucking didn't work. Yeah. I honestly think this segment would have worked better not as a segment. Mm. But, like, there are comic book characters that aren't really that popular these days. Sure, sure, yeah. Like, older comic book characters. Yeah. And I think this would have been perfectly serviceable as a Mandrake, the, like, mm. as part of a Mandrake the Magician movie. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's really more superhero than than anything else. Super yeah. villain, granted. Uh, then he has a wizard. He's going to eat, feed... Uh, what's your name to the cloak? But she grabs onto it. And then and they both get to use the wizard so, powers yeah. and they have a big wizard fight. Mm-hmm. And then he manages, he's going to feed her to the cloak. She does the rope trick. That he she does her. the rope trip and then the rope comes out and takes him. And then she's just at home on the computer. But she burns the cloak. Yeah. Because they don't know, because the people filming the documentary don't know what happened to it. Yet somehow we filmed this. Don't worry about it. How, to quote Vegeta, how do you know about the part you weren't there for? Don't worry about it. It's fine. She burns it. Yeah, Lisa. She's sitting at home. Here's her door creak open. She's like, uh-oh. It's a cloak. Hands come out. The, the demon hands come out and presumably eat her. Probably. 
And then there's just more driving and some people are chasing him in the ice cream truck and one gets his leg shredded off. Yeah, because he gets caught by the truck. Yeah, it's... I mean, the feet falling off part was cool. It was cool, but the whole ice cream truck bit's fucking stupid. Yeah, I don't get it either. Like, I don't even really remember the uh, the wraparound segment. I know the first one had them robbing the house. Yeah. I can't remember. Is it the Chase 2 that's the SWAT team? Maybe, and then the guy is the, the guy who blew his fucking chin off? Maybe. Yeah. I don't want them as a SWAT team, but it might be the one after this. No, the first one's a SWAT team. The second, the first is the one who blew his chin, the cops, the guy blew his chin off. The second one, I think, it's in the house, and the guy, the previous owner is a zombie. Zombies. He zombifies. Maybe? I think so. I don't remember. I gotta rewatch it. VHS2 is really good. Yeah. Then, um, our next segment's in Spanish. Oh, that is the next one. Fuck. Fortunately, it's subtitled. Yeah. It's called Parallel Monsters. Which I'm very glad it doesn't give you the titles. Yeah, same. Uh, immediately. Yeah. You because you would have known immediately he's a fucking monster. Yeah, you only get them at the end. Which is, yeah, it's very nice. But this guy builds a fucking tele- a, a gate. Yeah, this is the part where the tarp comes off and we both all went, oh no. We saw this like techno door thing. It's like, no, nah, don't. Um, Nothing good will come yeah, of this. Whatever that is, it's bad. Like, Nothing good will come of this. It's... Lo and behold, we were correct. Like, this is the same kind of shit that, they, that the... Jer- J- Jebediah Morningside did in Phantasm 4 and I fucked him up. <laughs> like... <laughs> He's working on his experiment. A gate closes. Shit happens. Then yeah. he op- he opens it. It opens on the other side and oh! He can see himself. I'm like, congratulations. You made a mirror. Yeah, I thought I thought it was like a, like a portal. Mm. Like, like a like transporting portal. So I thought he was just seeing himself at first. Mm. But uh, his, I don't know what this machine's actually for, but his connects to his other self on the other side made that one. Yeah. So I don't know. I think it's, because he does say it's a universe. Hmm. It's so, a mirror universe. Yeah. Everything's do, uh, on the other side. Yeah, so I'm thinking it's probably just like he was building this, and if mm-hmm. his theory was correct, the other him would also be yeah. building this. So that's it's probably uh, what it was, but meh. It's weird... When someone would do that, I find <laughs> like someone would build a portal to the mirror universe, because it's one of those things where to even get the idea of building a portal to a mirror universe, this guy must have like watched a fuck ton of sci-fi, yet not paid attention to the part where it always ends badly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this time it'll work. Trust. The, there will be no evil Spock. None, none whatsoever. That'll definitely not happen. So he goes into the other, he, they, they swap, they're like 50 minutes, we'll explore the other pre- person's universe, and then we'll come back. Yeah, they're both like pretty like, same. Like, yeah. they, they both each have a wife named Marta. Marta. Uh, you know, their house is exactly the same, except reversed. Yeah. yeah, they go off and... Except in this universe, Lex Luthor has a beard and is the hero, and Superman's the bad guy. <laughs> He's called Ultraman. Yeah. And he walks up the stairs. And... Batman is called Owlman. And he's played by James Woods. <laughs> Batman has a delightful yet stupid line. Good. You're right. We are similar, but there's one difference. We both <laughs> looked into the abyss, but when it looked back, you blinked. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. I had a cough, but that made it worse. Holy shit. So they um. <laughs> They're, they're, they're filming each other's alternate universe houses. They both have cameras for some reason. They... Well, I mean, I kind of get why he's filming this. At least, at least up to the experiment. Up to the up the stairs. Well, one has a picture of his wife, of him and his wife on their wedding day. Yeah, the, the one that we were introduced and to. And other mirror universe Alfonso is like, the fuck I was wrong with these people. <laughs> And, like, the, the, the Alfonso we meet at the beginning is like, the fuck is this? Because it's just like a bag of blood. It's a bag of blood and organs in, on a tripod surrounded by, like, satan, a satanic cir- something He's like, circle. Huh. 
Huh. Well, weird. Well, it's one of those things that you look at and you just might assume, okay, this is some weird art, yeah, exactly. like it's some Hieronymus Bosch shit, whatever. Yeah. It's, people have different tastes. <laughs> Not going to assume it's a photo. No. Hey, Could opens, be just some William Blake shit. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's it. Opens the door and is not his wife, but the other Alfonso's wife is there. It's like, oh. And she yeah. opening wine and like, oh, you want to join us? And I should. Okay, fine, sure. Yo, you have the camera. That's cool. Oh, you want to film it? Yeah, okay. That's, that's fine. And then uh, there are two guys in the jacuzzi outside, oh, uh, both called Oriole. Oriole, that's That right, goes yeah. nowhere, by the way. Yeah, she's like, are you two related? No. We just had the same first name. I was I was expecting one of the Orioles to be another dimension travel. <laughs> I think it's funny they're like, no, oh, like we just share the first name. Like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, I guess we used your last name. They're probably different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hi, it's my husband. He wants to film. Is that cool? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure, fight it. Like, yeah. And so the, there's the bat there. There's a porn movie playing of a woman being burned at the stake. Yeah. And then there's the bag of blood, and then they're waiting, and it's like, my husband likes to go first, and... <laughs> Alfonso is like... Uh. And Alfonso doesn't know what to do, because... He just kind of stands there, and they're like, alright, like, if you want to do this another time, we're good, I don't mind. I would have just said if I were Alfonso, no, 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 they're, they're the guests, they can... Yeah, wait, like, if you don't know what's going to go on, at least, like, one of them try to show you what's going on. <laughs> so... It's like, no, no, they're, they're the guests. They may go first. Like, oh, th- thank you. Like, yeah, they uh, just leave. And March is like, eh. and then they're both sitting, and it gets very Lynchian because, like, the thing's still playing. There's the bag of blood in the middle of the room. Fucking weird lights are happening. They're outside. sitting on either side, just looking at each other, and the cameras on the couch. Like, what the is, I don't know. The it just made me think. Have you seen the weird third season of Twin Peaks? No. Well, for anyone who's seen it, I am the arm, and I sound like this. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> then there's a the thing outside. He goes to check what it... Apparently, he film it, too. Apparently, Alfonso's been in the basement for, like, fucking months. months. Yeah. Like, it's summer now. Yeah. So he, he goes out, and there's this, like, Zeppelin chanting demonic with a neon inverted cross on it. And the neon cross is what really <laughs> just made me laugh. So, and apparently, the the main difference between these two universes... Well, he meets up with the other two dudes first. Yeah, the, the, the Oleols. <clears throat> and they're like, oh, so you just wanted us. You yeah, should have said so. Like, come on. Then, but they're angry that he's filming now. Yeah. Despite it being fine, like, five minutes. And so they bring out their demon penises. Yeah, and and speaking of, while this is happening, other Alfonso... Is, like, taking pictures and perving on other Marta. Yeah, but then uh, the faces start to glow. Like in the trailer. Like in the... Oh, really? Yeah, it's in the trailer. And uh, the other Alfonso whips out his demon penis... And like it's a it's a massive thing and it's a bitey it's like the, the the other tongue from a xenomorph. Yeah. But it's his dick. Uh first Alfonso stabs it with a screwdriver. Yeah. Runs back to the house, he's like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. And as Marta gets in the way, he just decks pushes, her. Pushes her out of the way first. She's like, what are you doing? And he just decks her. So that they switch back, um, apparently like he realizes, oh no, uh, it's fucking guy with a demon dick. Yeah. Is in my house with my wife. When he gets back, he confronts him, and he gets stabbed with a screwdriver. Yeah. Funny. And then Al- other Alfonso tries to go back, but then other Marta stops him and uses her demon vagina, vagina to, to eat his head. Because she's enacting an act on abusive it, stuff. Well, yeah, she's exercising her right That's to it. execute punishment for abuse, about abuse in my home. Technically, it's uh, based on the fourth satanic law. Okay. If someone in in your lair annoys you, treat them cruelly and without mercy. Gotcha. <clears throat> so that happens. And then first off, Alfonso closes the portal. Uh, very, very quickly. Yeah, well, you know, I don't know what to do with that shit. And then he gets murdered by... Well, because he calls, out to, calls yeah. out to her. And she stabs him with a knife. Yeah, because the last time she saw him, a demon penis came out. Yeah. And uh, honestly, understandable a little bit. Because he could have tried. 
I honestly think both of them would have been much better served. Probably this wouldn't have worked because Alfonso's evil yeah. and that other universe is evil. But just, yo, I'm... You know how your Alfonso's been like doing this experiment with parallel worlds? It works. <laughs> so we're, I'm exploring a bit. So yeah, I'm just saying, at least like his wife probably would have been like, okay, that makes sense, I guess. Unless he never told her. In which case, damn. Yeah, that's how it ends. He gets stabbed by. Also, Kuda, like, normal universe Alfonso's a lot smarter. Yeah. For the reason of. Demon Alfonso, like, just re- secluded himself in the basement for months to work on this. Yeah. Alfonso's been doing this and maintaining a normal life at the same time. Yeah. Oh, this one was alright. Mm. I like this one. The, yeah, the it's... demon penis shit was yeah, it weird. Yeah, was weird. But... It... Like, they could have just been Satanists. Yeah. And it would have been fine. They didn't need the demon penis. Yeah. Then there's... What the fuck is the next, like, what? wraparound bit? Uh... I'm checking in on the... On the wiki. But why also can't I remember? So I was gonna say it's the skateboarding one, but it's not. Well, no, that's the next segment. Oh, yeah, and There's yeah, yeah, the yeah, wraparound. Okay. Was it the fucking, uh, house party that blows up? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, that was a very weird one. That didn't seem to go... Go anywhere. Yeah, because we have like a Spanish slash Mexican like barbecue, barbecue, and then there's an altercation where one of the guys stabs the main. There's a guy who was just chilling with a dog, and then he kill, starts killing people because he stabbed his dog. Yeah, which like fair, <laughs> and I think their daughter or something recorded all of it. Yeah, the truck's recording, and then there's a yeah. The radio warps, turns operatic, causing the guest of honor to become violent and murder the others by stabbing them with forks. Uh, there's a gas leak that ruptures and explodes. Yeah, the gas leak and blowing up, I remember. And then the, our main guy, who's started the whole movie, is still chasing this truck, because I think he thinks he knows what it is. Implying that he might. Do they both know what it is? I don't know. I don't know. This one then we get Bonestorm. Then we get Bonestorm. Where some dickheads are doing skateboarding. Yeah. Because they want someone to fuck up and die so they can sell it as a snuff film. Probably. Yeah. Fucking cl- no, it, I. Oh, it bang it. Class act. One of them has a gun and he's the worst. One of them leaped a building rooftop. Yeah, and they were hoping that would fuck up, but kudos on him and not fucking up. Hey, you guys can't be up here. Oh, get back. Go back to your house, man. He also fired a bullet on the roof. It's like, don't do that. Yeah, you're gonna get arrested. Never aim your gun up. That bullet's gonna come down at some point. <laughs> Mm-hmm. At best, aim it diagonally. Yeah. Contra. Yeah, in the way. But uh, yeah, they're, they're doing very bad Tony Hawk Pro Skater intro type of filming. Yeah. The filmmaker's a dick because he keeps telling him he wasn't recording. Yeah. Despite him recording. Because they want to, they want him to die. Oh yeah, like one of the things is uh, he they try to film skating across the street. And he asked if he was clear. He went, yeah, despite a truck coming. He said, you fucked up my car. I'll get back, get back in your car, fucker. <laughs> I'm amazed neither of these two spindly, bi- spindly bitches got fucking curb stomped. Yeah, for real. Google leading up to this. Like, it really is, like, the worst, like, what your grandparents thought skaters were doing to society mm. type of stereotypes. Like, yeah. there are actual fucking monsters. Just dickheads, like really, just a bunch of fucking idiots. Well, they're film- they're at a skate park, just filming shit. They get kicked out because of a fight. Big, very violent fight. They were gonna fight a bum. No, no, he helped the bum. He just gave him a cigarette. But then the filmmaker wanted him to fight the bum. Yeah. So she told him to fuck off. Because, yeah. <laughs> then they decided to go to Tijuana. Yeah, because they needed a place to finish filming. Yeah, and there's a there's a big ditch there they can film in. And some dude named Car Gas Guy. Well, car money guy, gas car money, money guy, your gas money guy. Because he's um, his name. They're like, hey, Sam, it's Sean. Whatever. He's got a bad credit card. I would have said, oh, none of your fucking business. <laughs> I mean, you don't know my name. Fuck off. Well, they go. They go down to Tijuana. They do a bunch of 
dumb shit. Buy fireworks. Buy fireworks. There's a weird woman with flowers on her head just yeah. being there. It looks like we have a, the the festival of the dead yeah. going on because everyone's in like skeleton painting. And it's very cool. There's this, uh, they go to the, di- there's a this like summoning circle thing in the ditch. Yeah, it's not the ditch that he thought of, but he's like, well, you guys can skate here. It's, it's, a, it's, it's paved. Yeah. Like, it's a canal. It's like the, it's like the big canal from, um, yeah. From Terminator 2. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or the warrior, like, there are just, these things are around. Yeah, he said, big demon circle, summon circle in the middle. Guy slips and, and fucking skins his elbow, and then it bleeds there, and then... Insanity ensues. Cult. <laughs> and then cult. And then they kill all the cult members, one of them singing, they kill them with both guns and their skateboards. Yeah, the filmmaker goes up to the woman who was there before. Rips his, and rips gets his, his arm rib- off. Yeah, just clean off. It's fucking sick. Presumably dies, because he also gets set on fire after. Yeah, there's a lot of fire. Um, there's something coming out of the pipe. You never quite see what it is. No. It's and then ball, whatever it is. some of the people turn into fucking skeletons. Yeah. And they're fighting, they're going all, all, all army of darkness on this. Yeah. Fighting the skeletons is pretty fun. Mm. One of them flips them off before he blows up. Yep. It's pretty good they, they, they put fireworks on the skeletons. Uh, gas money, or uh, car gas, He's whatever the fuck. Dead. He's dead. Yeah. He doesn't make it. Then they're escaping, and then there's a whole swarm of skeletons after them. And then they get eaten by... We see a tail, and they get eaten by a demon. And yeah, then... the, the camera kid gets eaten, yep. so we get a little taste of what the demon is. And then the thing's over. Yep. They never say if the kids got out. I don't think the movie cares, but... Nope. That's how it ends. Yippee, I guess. <laughs> then uh, Kevin's still chasing the truck. Counters a woman with her nose bleeding. Then there's oh, yeah. a guy in the back of a cab who's filming a, strip, a, a woman stripping. Then turns out that he that she, he posts a video of her before. She pulls a gun on him, makes him strip. Is going to shoot his dick off, and then the cough car flips and crashes through the get taxi. Yeah, that's basically what happened. And then uh, Kevin finally finds the ice cream truck. He goes in. It's full of cameras and TVs. And uh, Iris is telling him to upload and bashing her head into the wall. Yeah, a lot of the uh, footage is stuff from other VHS films. Yeah, we see the, the demon cool. cult one yeah. from the second movie. Yeah, I just didn't remember that. A bit, a bit of that yeah. one shown. <clears throat> and uh, he uploads and then he his nose bleeds and then presumably everyone is infected. Yeah, because he leaves the truck, finds his dead girlfriend with the phone. Uh, the Beethoven song starts ending. And then we get credits. Yep. Which, like, yeah, I guess they were trying to say that the films and stuff being blasted through radios and speakers is causing people to go crazy, and now it's everywhere, so yippee. Yeah, this it doesn't make sense. Nah, this is. Why does Chewbacca, a seven foot tall Wookiee, choose to live on a planet with three, two foot tall Ewoks? It does not make it sense. It does not make sense. Shout out to the Chewbacca argument. There's actually, that's a term in law, with, among yeah. lawyers now. It's yeah, like, yeah. oh, we're doing the Chewbacca argument. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's that well known. So, yeah, VHS Viral. This is definitely my least favorite that we wa- that I've watched. Hmm. I definitely think Of I... the VHS movies or of the movies you've watched? Oh, yeah, of the VHS movies. Oh, okay. yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, like, of the VHS films I saw, because I'm pretty sure I liked the one after this. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this is probably my least favorite one that I watched. It had like one really good one, which was The Magician for hmm. me. Second one was okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then the rest was okay. Yeah. I don't buy how these two guys, these these chuckle fucks, managed to kill all these zombies. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I, like especially the bone one. Like, I get that he had a gun for some of them. That makes sense. Nah. <laughs> he, he, he gets a sword and is like, I don't want to see these people be badass. They're not. They're awful. Yeah, like, there's no fucking way they managed to pick all of them on. Like, nah. Yes, it's a choice. Certainly a choice. Yeah. But it's. It, 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 I think it had like a 5 out of 10 on IMDb. Yeah, 4. 4? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that sounds more right. Yeah, this was. Um, I mean, I've seen worse movies. Oh, yeah. Uh, but. This, it's just okay. It didn't do it. It didn't do it for me. Yeah, I think it started strong and then just yeah. Currently, for the VHS movies, uh, 
two one viral. Yeah. In the d- uh, descending order. Yeah. <laughs> eh, this was yeah, man. I will say, I like anthology films, mm. and in certain case, I don't usually like found footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't feel they work well together. That I'm gonna well, get that. It's definitely far from the best anthology film I've ever seen. That's probably Creepshow 2, mm. or maybe... We haven't reviewed it yet, but Body Bags is up there. Oh, yeah, you keep body talking bags about Body Bags. Well, it's John Carpenter. Yeah, I, I look forward to that one. This was... Uh, it was what it was. It Exactly, it was what it was. <laughs> it was, a, it was okay. But, yeah, I've been Mark Tomato. I've been Matt. And ciao. Bye!